This is Instagram. This is every other social media. And this is Football Fan. Yep, in 2020, a social media app called Football Fan was released. It's just like normal social media, except you can only post football videos. Like this one of me hitting top bid. Obviously, the app never took off, but there are still thousands of active accounts. So there's no way I could become the most famous person on this app, right? Or can I? We know the king of YouTube. TikTok and Instagram. And over the course of the next 10 days, I'm going to put myself amongst the greats. I hope. I guess if you're watching this now, then, then it means I got somewhere. I have 10 days to get famous. Let's go. Day one, I started my journey of becoming famous by making my football fan account. But what actually is football fan? It's basically Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok all rolled into one, but every single post has to be football related. Obviously, this idea reeks. Why would I post my football videos here when I can already post them here? Or here? Or here? Or here? Or here? I saw a YouTuber, Yikes, attempt this on another app called Lego Life, but football fans somehow even less active. Still, the most famous person on football fan is Pavlicky16. He's received 910,000 views on all of his videos in the last 10 days. So sorry, Pavicky16, but your days on top are done. Benito, you think you're the king? I'm the king now. In the next 10 days, my goal is to reach 1 million total views. This is my best shot at greatness. Currently, we have zero, so let's change that. I'm on my way to film my first football fan video, but I need to be outside to do this. In fact, I need to be in a, a very specific location, one I'm very special to my heart. This is my local pitch, which really is just a singular goalpost in a random cow feed. I spent day one recording some footage for me to then edit into a masterpiece, then sprinted home for, for no reason. I could have just walked this. I, I just felt like it. Spent the evening editing the video until it was made, and it was perfect. <laughs> I loved it. So I couldn't wait to upload it. Every post gets shared to the feed. But because this app's so inactive, about one post appears per hour. So I hope a lot of people will end up seeing mine. That night, I followed as many random accounts as I could, hoping some would follow me back. The only rules are that videos can only be a maximum of one minute long, and all of your videos have to be your own. B because copyright. That That's actually... That's actually the law. On day two, I woke up to check the results. Can you imagine if we've already reached a million views? That'd be crazy. Ah. Uh, 5,000 views means we are officially 0.5% of our way to our goal of a million. So we're making great progress. Day two, I knew I had to post more than just one video. I have a theory that the people using this app are kids that are too young to use normal social media. And what genre of videos do kids love? Prime. That's not a genre. I, I set some bottles up like bowling pins and then recorded me hitting a strike of them. Definitely didn't take me 12 minutes. I think the kids are going to eat this up. Drink this up, I should say. I actually, that sounds bad. And then I went back to the pictures to record some more skits. Let's see, we have this one. And this one. And this one. The videos I've posted today have done a lot better than the ones I did yesterday. Look, look, the Prime video is on 9k views. This one here is on 8k views. They've done well. But what this has taught me is that when trying to get views on Football Fan, quantity is better than quality. I'm sorry, this camera angle is doing my head and I've got to get it. I may only be 5.5% of the ways of becoming famous, but I was super proud of the videos I've made. I loved them and I was fulfilled. But on day three, I wasn't fulfilled because my goal is to become famous and I'm not famous yet. But something, something interesting happened last night. I love this camera angle, by the way. I feel like I feel like I'm giving you the Peter Crouch POV right now. Last night I posted one more video. It was a nine-second clip straight from my camera roll, and it was of the Spurs Stadium celebrations after we beat Brighton 2-1. I mean, it's within the rules, it's my own video, but it already has 10,000 views and it's taken us to 63K overall. At this point, I know what you're thinking. Jamie, just post every video you have of you at the Spurs Stadium and my response would be, I would. If I had any, I go to the football every other week, but I tend not to have my phone out then because I just want to spend the time with my dad instead. 
The football's the only time we really get to spend together. But this has taught me that unedited IRL football videos get views on football fans. So, I think I know how I'm going to become famous. This is the first time I've played football on this channel before. And you're about to see why that is. I suck. So I tried some really simple challenges like bending the ball around the post and passing it along the line. But each of these individual takes will be their own separate video for football fans. So at least I'm getting something out of this. Remember... Quantity over quality. I then tried my YouTube hero Road to Shore's iconic volley crossbar challenge for myself. I was ready. I actually got the hang of it kind of quickly. I managed to fluke the shot after 16 minutes, which isn't that bad. I posted all 10 of the IRL videos I filmed that day to football fans. These videos, they're nowhere as good or as fun as the skits were, but they get views, and that's all that matters. This one of me passing the ball along the line? 7k views, and, and that's just one of them. In fact, that night we passed 100k views overall, meaning we're 13% of the way to achieving my goal of becoming famous. So, day four, I went back to the pitch, recorded more of the same IRL football challenges, and uploaded them again. Because not enough people are posting on Football Fan, no matter what I post, people are going to see it because there's nothing else for people to see. So the more I post, the more views I get, the closer we get to achieving our goal. It's the end of day four and I've just passed 180,000 views overall. 18% of the way there now. I'm also starting to notice that these videos are getting a lot more dislikes than normal. Also, I only have two followers, which which really tells me people do not want to stick around. But that means nothing. After all, these are just numbers. What, it's not like they're real people behind a screen. That night, I dreamt about hitting a million views. I cannot wait to become famous. And I also can't help but think there's got to be a more efficient way of getting there. So at the butt crack of dawn on day five, I was ready to do exactly that. And my plan was simple. Steal my own content. Yes, you heard that right. Intense music playing, vignettes around my face, Black bars descend, this is dramatic. Quick story time, before my days on YouTube, I was something of a TikToker. I posted hundreds, and that's not an exaggeration, of these awful, cringy football skits. I am so not proud of them. My plan is to spend the next two days just scrolling through, downloading any of my old TikToks that don't have a language barrier, and post all of them. Is this cheating? I mean, the rules say no copyrighted videos, but who am I copying here? Myself? I posted about 30 of these videos on day 5 and about the same on day 6 as well. The feed on this app is now pretty much just me, meaning all this time the videos from the start of the challenge are still being watched. So by the end of day 6, altogether we crossed 350,000 views. Now that's what I call progress. I don't think the football fan community has taken very kindly to me just uploading my old TikToks. Some of them have now got more dislikes than likes. And also I've lost a follower. I I'm, I'm back down to one. Uh, but that's not important. Hitting a million views is what will make this all worth it. Becoming famous is all I care about. Day seven is when I started to break. <gasps> I need to get views. I need to get them quick. I don't actually sleep like this. This is, this is just so you can't see me naked. My only goal for day seven was to film as many videos as humanly possible. I don't care if they're good, okay? I just care that they get views, nothing else. So I grabbed every single prop I've ever used in one of my videos and just filmed it, putting in as little effort as I possibly could. And while I was doing this, I realized that I am the one who knocks. Like, I'm the one who knows what the dog is doing. Like, I'm him, I am him. I've just filmed 30 videos. Now all I have to do is edit them individually and then post them one by one so that I can get as many views out of this as possible. Just like my toilet after a large Domino's pizza, the feed was completely clogged. Uh, only with my videos instead of my feces. And some of them surprisingly got a lot of views. This one with Rodri, it has 8k views. We crossed 524,000 views by the end of day 7, meaning we're 52.4% of the way to becoming famous. And on the morning of day 8 was when I literally had nothing left to film with but my football shirt collection. All of these? Yeah. 
Yeah, this is it. I'm not proud to be modeling these on the internet, let alone to an app full of children. But you know what they say? The game's the game. And after I uploaded all of those videos, I came up with a genius plan. What if I just repost everything I've already done. I know people have already seen these videos, but if nothing else is being posted, then surely it doesn't matter, right? But was this really ethical? Mm, no, not really. It's kind of just disrespectful. But I'm too far gone at this point. All I know is that when I hit a million views, it will surely all feel worth it. <sighs> It is the end of day eight. We are currently sitting on 750,000 views. We are 75% of the way to a million with just two days to go. Uh, what am I wearing? Um, you know, just famous people clothes. I, I know I'm not famous yet. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just getting ready. I may have become my own worst nightmare. But day nine is when I fully lost myself. It was the weekend and me and my dad, we went to watch the Spurs game against Wolves. Normally, I wouldn't film anything at the football, just spend time with my dad. But desperate times call for desperate measures. We need 200,000 views in two days. So I filmed everything. From going into the stadium, to the warm up, to getting the chicken and waffle fries, it just tastes so good. Players walking out, players getting announced, wall players getting announced, chance, Pick -off. free kicks, corners, corners. Corners. goal celebrations. I captured it all. And I don't remember much from the game apart from that. I don't even think I spoke to him. By day 10, I'd posted 215 videos and reached 970,000 views. We were 97% of the way there. So to take me over the line, I posted one last video with some old 2014 World Cup trading cards. I remember collecting these when I was a 10 year old kid so clearly. I wonder if he'd be proud of who I've become. It's the end of day 10, meaning the challenge is about to be over. Last time I checked, we were on 995,000 views, and that was a few hours ago. So, if the video I've just posted has over 5,000 views, we've done it. So let's see how many it got. Oh my god. I had done it. That's insane. Guess I'm famous now. What now? <laughs> 